Hi guys! This is Dr. Mike D and we are going to start with a new series. This is called Dr. Mike D Reacts! Yay! Where we take videos from the internet and uh, well usually just uh, dermatological procedures or people uh, doing skin skincare and stuff and then I'll just be reacting to it. Uh, but mainly uh, look at techniques or if the patients or if the operator or the one doing the procedure is doing things right. So yeah, so for today's series, I'll be reacting to several videos of comedone extraction. So the title of the first video that I'm looking at is Best Blackhead Removal Ever in 55 Minutes Facial Acne Treatment by Gaspa. So it looks like uh, so the skin condition of the patient, you see that there are multiple clumped, um, open pores filled with debris and comedones. So that's what you call Favarokosho, which is a syndrome uh, which is caused by um, solar elato elastotic disorder consisting of multiple open comedones that occurs in skin damage by the sunlight, especially under the lateral um, aspect of the eyes but in this patient it seems like uh, she has this uh, kind of syndrome everywhere so the technique that the technician is okay i think the police agree with me <laughs> <laughs> i think the police agrees with me so there Ooh. can you see that like uh, it's a uh, uh, the technician is squeezing. Ouch! Wow, that looks really painful. And can you see? The, the nail of the technician um, indented into the skin. So that's gonna leave a mark there. <gasps> this, after this procedure, it will leave a very red mark and it will turn into a hyperpigmentation. See? Wow. Oh no! So like the whole finger and the nail of the the technician ouch uh, kind of was embedded inside the skin and uh, i do not advise this technique because you notice also as the technician is putting pressure in other aspects of the other aspects of the skin so where her thumbs and her index finger is is positioned she's actually pushing the other comedones deeper into the pores and if she pushes it that way she could actually rupture some cysts if there are acne cysts inside the skin and lodge it deeper into the skin causing more inflammation more severe acne and that could lead to severe scarring wow super painful it looks really painful ouch I just really have an issue about her nails indenting into the skin of the patient. So, if she just has, or if she just had like a tool that can actually, a tool that can actually put the, the pressure around the specific comedone that she was uh, targeting, then that will be better. And you could see also blood coming off from from uh, the hair follicles or the pores it could either it could either be from from the needle that she is using she's poking too deep or she actually ruptured some pimples in there and you can actually see when she's pinching uh, the the skin that that's being pinched is actually producing a serum already and because of the oil that is being released when she's pinching, her her fingers kind of slide through and you can actually see some skin coming off already. So it's abrading. This technique is actually abrading the skin also. So that's not gonna be good there. And uh, this area, since it's near the... the uh, the triangle this triangle it's 
so there is an area in the face that's that has direct uh, vascular connection to the brain and if you have blood there Remember that the hair follicle has a lot of bacteria. Our skin has a lot of bacteria. So if you have blood there, there's a chance for bacteria to get into the circulation. And when infection goes into the blood vessel, which has direct connection to the brain, it can have some fatal effects. Oh no! So please do not use your uh, fingers to squeeze out the comedons. It's not the, gonna do any good. Ouch! I think she just she just injured the patient. Alright, there's even thunderstorm. Ouch. Ooh. Wow, that's a lot of comedons. I think it's unhygienic for you to actually keep the comedons very like if you can notice she's she's keeping the comedones all the comedones that she's extracted near her uh, gloves oh no so and she's actually using she's actually using the needle to pick on the comedones on the comedones that uh, came off and put on her finger and I think that's quite hazardous for her also because she might actually puncture herself doing that. She might actually puncture her skin with the needle as she transfers the extracted comedone using the needle onto her finger. So yeah, I don't uh, really advise this technique. It looks painful. It might leave the patient with more scarring in the future. It can lead to to more acne <gasps> so usually in the clinic we before we do comedone extraction we usually prepare the skin of the patient using um, a couple of weeks of topicals and clinical peel especially um, retinoids because that will make uh, that will already push out some of the comedones and you would notice that it will be easier for us to extract the comedones if the, the patient already had um, previous treatments. So there. So this is... Uh, yeah, that's what you call Favaroko Show. Okay. Ouch! Ouch! Uh, she is going to do wow. super painful I'm just concerned how the patient will look like after this. I think the patient will be really swollen all over. Oh no! And if you actually, in, this might actually increase inflammation in the skin. If you increase inflammation in, in the skin, you can actually make the acne worse. Because as you know, acne is an inflammatory skin condition. <gasps> so see? See how the the skin is being indented by the by her nails and her finger. Ouch! Ouch! You have got to have like really, really uh, high pain tolerance to to bear all this. So I'm guessing this patient never doesn't have any skincare uh, because of how hard the comedones are and how dark the, the opening of the comedones are. The comedones turn dark when they are exposed to the air because they, they get oxidized. So 
that's why they have this uh, very dark uh, almost black color so if you don't have if you don't do um sun protection and you are always exposed under the sun um, you're exposed in pollution then this can happen to your skin very easily oh no so if you don't want uh, you don't like comedone extraction you need to have very good uh, skin regimen all right Ouch! Alright, that's about it. So, alright guys. So, stay tuned for more videos of Comedone Extraction. And we will be commenting on these videos uh, for you also to see. And so that you will be informed which um, Comedone Extraction techniques will be good and will be bad for you. Alright? Alright guys, see you in another series.